The four main types of elements that you're going to be dealing with in chemistry is the metal, the non-metal, the metalloid, and the noble gas. And actually, you can use the uh, number of valence electrons present inside the atom to identify what type of element it is. For example, if a uh, atom or element has one, two, or three valence electrons, then it is a metal, and it will lose electrons. If it has four, it is a metalloid. If it has five, six, or seven electrons present in the valence shell, then it is a non-metal. And if it has eight electrons present in the valence shell, this means that this valence shell is full, and it will not gain or lose proton electrons, and it is a noble gas. And by the way, this will also help us to identify or learn about the ion, which is a charged particle. An ion is a charged particle but formed by the gaining or losses of electrons, okay? We have two types of ions, the cation and the anion, all right? Now, the cation is a positively charged particle formed by the loss of electrons and formed by metals, metals from cations, which have valence electrons 1, 2, 3. They lose it to achieve a full outer shell. The number of protons is greater than the number of electrons, giving an overall positive charge. Anion is the opposite, and anion is a negatively charged particle formed by the gaining of electrons to achieve a full outer shell. Gaining of electrons is done from the metals, which lose electrons, to the anions. The anions have more electrons than the protons, giving a overall um, negative charge, and anions are formed by non-metals.